Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rikakadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who they eagerly call Jesus Christ. Now, when you look at the extermination uh, that's been trying to happen on the Israelites, you can go back to many examples in the Bible when they tried to exterminate the Israelites. Now, you got about five accounts, and King David, he gave prophecies about the end of the world, see, and I'm going to get those last, but the first one, let's go to the beginning, the beginning of Exodus, and let's see when the Israelites first was became a nation and had uh, pretty much multiplied. Let's see what the the other nations tried to do to the Israelites. Okay, let's see here. All right, let me just get. I'm gonna start at start at verse nine. It said, "And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. See, and and the main part was mightier. That mightier was the problem. Verse ten. It's Exodus chapter one, verse ten." Come on, let us deal wisely with them, let, lest they multiply, and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. Okay. Verse 12, it says, But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Alright? So the affliction didn't work. So, let me get verse, uh, let's see here. Verse 16, it said, and he said, talking about uh, the Pharaoh, when ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew woman, and see them upon the stool, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. See, the daughter uh, wasn't going to uh, extend the bloodline, but the sons was going to extend the bloodline and further the nation. And so, they did it from the beginning of the nation of Israel. They was trying to exterminate the nation. Get rid of the nation. Okay. Then, let's see. You have, um, when Yahawashi was on the scene. And pretty much, the part with Yahweh who the ignorant called Jesus Christ, they was trying to get rid of him because of the um, he was the savior of the nation. So the nation, the beginning of the nation, they was trying to exterminate them and the savior of the nation. They was trying to exterminate him. So either way it went, they was trying to get rid of the nation of Israel. These heathens, these other nations. So it says, let's see here.
Now, it was a prophecy about them trying to get rid of um, Yehavashah in uh, Jeremiah. And it finally happened in um, Yehavashah's day. Matthew chapter 2. Uh, let's see. Matthew chapter 2. Verse 13, it says, And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Then jump down to verse 16, it says, Then Herod when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceedingly wroth, and sought forth, and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem. You see? And in all the coast thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. So Herod the Edomite, you can Google it, he was trying to exterminate the Israelites. Okay. And so, when you look at another account, you can see it in um, Esther. That wicked Haman. Let's, let me get Esther right quick. It says, Esther chapter 7, verse 6. And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. See, Haman was an Edomite. Because when you go to Esther 3 and 10, it say Haman was the son of Amadadada, the, the Agagite, the Jews' enemy. See, the enemy of the Jews was always the Edomite. And the Ag Agagai or Agag, he went back to Amalek, the head tribe of the Edomites. And so Haman goes to the king in verse 6 of chapter 3. He said, Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Hazariah. Now, this is uh, the Persians, the A Iran and all of those Afghanistan and all those people uh, because they changed Iran the Iranians uh, that's a new name their name was Persia in 1935 okay so he tried Haman tried to exterminate the Jews out of the kingdom of the Persians. Then you have uh, Margaret Sanger, this dragon. She jumped out there and tried to get rid of the Israelites and exterminate them because uh, her daddy was a drunk and she started joining the Ku Klux Klan talking about uh, the eugenics program that, that uh, was being pushed from some guy in California. Then the uh, Hitler and them got her, got hold to it. And she was pushing it. Get rid of the, the, the so-called uh, cancer out of the society or the, the bad genes out of the society. But that just was a trick, trickery uh, just like what they pushing now to exterminate people and so you got um 
Psalm. Let's go to Psalms and see how the King David prophesied about this uh, Margaret Sanger and her peoples, the Edomites. He prophesied about these people. Let's go to Psalms chapter 2 and line it up. Psalms chapter 2, verse 1, it says, Why do the heathen rage and why do people imagine a vain thing? See, they imagine a vain thing. They really think that the, the chosen people of God can really be touched. Verse 2, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Verse 3, let us break their bands asunder and cast their cords from us. See, let's, they, let's stop them from banding together and being a nation. Let's cut them off, man. Let's get rid of these people. Okay, then you got Psalms 83. Starting at verse Three, it says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and against thy uh, hidden one. What counsel was that? Verse 4, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Let us exterminate them, man. Okay, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Verse 5, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. See, they are confederate. These other nations, these heathens, are confederate in these last days. See, that, that united nation, that's when they was all united. And it started with the League of Nations. See, the League of Nations started uh, around the same time. Margaret Sanger is on the scene to exterminate the Israelites. And you know, they call us uh, blacks, Negroes, niggers, uh, what you call it, coloreds. It's all kind of names that they call us, but they know the main name is the Israelites. That's why they made up these false names. Hispanics, Puerto Ricans, uh, Mexicans, all these by words and, and false names that they put on us because they want to exterminate us and our name and so it's a vain thing that what they doing because they, they'll never do it now let's get revelations 12 and 17 and I'll close out revelation 12 and 17 and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to wage war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of God, Yahweh, and have the testimony <laughs> of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And that was their goal. And they still trying to establish that goal with this medical situation that they pushing on their social, uh, witchcraft sorcery, television, mind control, hypnotism, hypnotic, uh, tell a live vision. See, they still trying to use their witchcraft to exterminate the Israelites. But that's their only chance to keep their kingdoms and not be a slave to the Israelites. Because they know the prophecy of the Israelites. And so, I'm going to leave it there. All praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rikach, Kedash, double honors to the elders pushing the truth, peace to the elect, uh, Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, descendants of slaves, worldwide, our kingdom of Israel is at hand, Shalom.